In a remarkable display of engineering prowess, SpaceX has done in just three weeks what many thought impossible. After Flight 7's unexpected end, the aerospace giant not only pinpointed the exact cause of the explosion, but implemented crucial fixes that could transform the future of Starship's reliability. Right now at Starbase, Starship 34 and Booster 15 stand ready, their engines being meticulously installed after passing the critical cryogenic proof tests. And there's more brewing in Boca Chica. The second launch pad is rising from the Texas soil promising to double SpaceX's launch capabilities. While the FAA continues their thorough review of Flight 7, SpaceX isn't standing still. They've already submitted their FCC application for Flight 8, marking February 24th as their operational readiness date, a bold move that shows their confidence in the improvements they've made. But what exactly went wrong with Flight 7, and how has SpaceX engineered their way around these challenges? From enhanced leak detection systems to revolutionary fire suppression mechanisms, the solutions they've developed could be game-changing for the entire space industry. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Let's dive right in. The rapid progress at Starbase tells a story of relentless innovation and determination. Just weeks after Flight 7's dramatic conclusion, the SpaceX team had already begun writing the next chapter in Starship's development. Their latest prototype, Starship 34, stands gleaming in the Texas sun, its stainless steel skin reflecting the hopes of thousands who dream of making humanity multiplanetary. Each morning, as the sun rises over Boca Chica Beach, teams of engineers and technicians arrive, ready to tackle the day's challenges with unwavering dedication. The investigation into Flight 7's anomaly revealed a critical insight that would reshape Starship's future. Deep within the vehicle's complex systems, a propellant leak had developed in the cavity above the engine firewall. This wasn't just any technical glitch. It was a challenge that would test the team's ability to adapt and innovate. The transfer tube, a crucial component responsible for carrying propellant from the tanks to the engines, had become the focal point of their attention. Engineers worked around the clock, analyzing data, running simulations, in developing solutions that would prevent similar issues in future flights. But SpaceX didn't just stop at identifying the problem. Within those crucial three weeks, they implemented a comprehensive suite of improvements that would transform Starship's reliability. New leak detection systems, more sophisticated than their predecessors, were designed to catch the smallest hint of propellant seepage before it could become dangerous. Fire suppression mechanisms, strategically placed in high-risk areas, stand ready to neutralize any threat before it can escalate. The venting capacity has been enhanced, ensuring that any pressure buildup can be safely managed before it reaches critical levels. Test Tank 16 emerged as the unsung hero of this rapid development process. Just one week after the anomaly, this crucial piece of hardware was moved into the Star Factory, where it underwent a series of transformative upgrades. Its construction, a sophisticated blend of five-ring forward sections with integrated stringers and a four-ring aft section, represents the latest evolution in Starship's design philosophy. This isn't just another test article, it's a testament to SpaceX's commitment to continuous improvement in innovation. The testing regime at Massey's facility pushes the boundaries of engineering knowledge. Here, Test Tank 16 faces conditions that simulate the extreme forces of spaceflight. The specialized test rig subjects the tank to dynamic loads and compressive forces that mirror what a starship experiences during its journey to space. Each test provides valuable data that feeds back into the design process, helping engineers refine and perfect their solutions. When the tank was transported to the test site on February 4th, it carried with it the hopes and hard work of countless individuals dedicated to making starships safer and more reliable. Meanwhile, the landscape of Starbase itself continues to evolve. Tower 2, SpaceX's ambitious second launch facility, represents more than just additional launch capacity. It's a symbol of the company's unwavering commitment to scaling up operations. The recent installation of the chopstick arm assembly marked a crucial milestone but it's just the beginning of a complex process to bring this new facility online. The intricate dance of cable reeving has begun, 
with teams carefully threading massive cables through a sophisticated system of pulleys and sheaves. This isn't just routine construction work, it's precision engineering on a massive scale. The draw works mechanism, when fully operational, will provide the precise control needed to catch returning rockets, a feat that once seemed impossible. The travel block mounted on the carriage serves as a crucial component in this complex mechanical symphony, helping to distribute loads and ensure smooth operation of the entire system. The testing phase for these massive arms will be equally impressive. Engineers plan to put them through their paces with a series of validation tests that would humble most mechanical systems. Opening and closing cycles will verify proper hinge operation and synchronization. The arms will be raised to their maximum height repeatedly, ensuring they can perform reliably under various conditions. Perhaps most impressively, load tests using water bags will simulate the forces these massive structures will need to handle during rocket stacking and catching operations. Below ground, equally important work continues at a steady pace. The Pad B flame trench, a crucial component of the launch infrastructure, is taking shape through careful excavation and construction. Teams have removed excess concrete from the piles, making way for the installation of complex networks of pipes and conduits. These aren't just any utilities. They're the lifelines that will supply propellant and electrical power to future Starship launches. The expansion of the tank farm represents another crucial piece of this massive puzzle. New propellant storage tanks, pumps, and heat exchangers are being installed, each component carefully selected and positioned to support the increased launch cadence that two operational pads will enable. This isn't just about adding capacity, it's about building a robust infrastructure that can support regular, reliable access to space. At the Sanchez site, the construction of the Pad B launch mount continues at a steady pace. Welding teams work with precision, joining massive steel components that will soon support the weight of the world's largest rocket. The plumbing work progresses in parallel, creating the complex network of pipes and valves that will feed propellant to future Starships. The booster hold-down clamps and outer quick disconnect mechanisms await installation, each representing another crucial piece of this technological marvel. The double bucket flame diverter beneath the launch mount showcases the incredible engineering required to handle Starship's massive engines. This isn't just a simple steel structure, it's a sophisticated system designed to redirect the raw power of rocket exhaust while protecting surrounding infrastructure. The framework of robust steel pipes contains internal passages for cooling water with small perforations that will spray water to absorb both heat and noise during launches. The main water supply manifolds are already in place, their presence a testament to the careful planning that goes into every aspect of launch infrastructure. Production continues at an impressive pace. Starship 35's completion marks another milestone, with its AF dome section now installed. But this is just the beginning of its journey. Teams will soon begin installing the thermal protection system, flight computers, and the myriad other systems that make Starship the most advanced rocket ever built. This vehicle, slated for Flight 9, will be paired with Booster 16, creating another powerful combination in SpaceX's growing fleet. The broader space industry continues to advance alongside Starship's development. Blue Origin's NS-29 mission, launched on February 4th, demonstrates the growing sophistication of space technology. After dealing with weather delays and an avionics issue, the mission proceeded flawlessly carrying 30 experimental payloads that could prove crucial for future lunar exploration. The mission's innovative use of centrifugal force to simulate lunar gravity showcases the creative solutions being developed to prepare for sustained lunar presence. By spinning the capsule at 11 revolutions per minute, researchers created conditions that allowed them to study various phenomena in lunar-like conditions. The NASA Lunar Chi Combustion Investigation examined how flames behave in reduced gravity, knowledge that could prove vital for designing safe lunar habitats. The electrostatic dust lofting experiment tackled another crucial challenge, understanding how lunar regolith particles become charged when exposed to ultraviolet radiation. This isn't just academic curiosity. Lunar dust poses real threats to equipment and astronaut safety, making this research essential for future lunar operations. The mission also tested advanced liquid management techniques 
crucial for life support systems and water resource monitoring on the moon. Several experiments focused on in situ resource utilization, a key technology for sustainable lunar exploration. Others examined dust mitigation technologies, advanced sensors, and improved navigation systems for entry, descent, and landing operations. Each experiment, each data point collected, brings us closer to establishing a permanent human presence on the moon. The success of these various space initiatives underscores the rapid advancement of space technology. From SpaceX's massive Starship to Blue Origin's suborbital experiments, each mission adds to our understanding and capabilities in space. The pace of progress is accelerating, driven by innovation, competition, and the shared dream of making humanity a spacefaring civilization. As we await Flight 8, the atmosphere at Starbase remains charged with anticipation and purpose. The February 24th target date in SpaceX's FCC filing may be ambitious, but it reflects the company's confidence in their improvements and their commitment to maintaining a rapid development pace. Whether launch permission comes in February or later, the team remains focused on their ultimate goal, making life multi-planetary. The transformation of Starbase itself tells the story of progress. Where once there was only empty coastline, now stands a gateway to the stars. The second launch pad, when completed in mid-2025, won't just double SpaceX's launch capacity, it will represent another step toward making space travel as routine as air travel. Each new vehicle, each new test, each new launch brings with it new challenges to overcome and new opportunities to learn and improve. As we look ahead, the story of Starship is far more than a tale of rockets and launch pads. It's about humanity's unwavering drive to reach beyond our earthly bounds. From the engineers working tirelessly at Starbase to the researchers advancing lunar technology, each breakthrough brings us closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. Flight 8 stands ready on the horizon, carrying with it not just improved systems and refined technology, but the collective aspirations of thousands who believe in this ambitious vision. Whether launch comes in February or later, one thing remains clear. SpaceX's relentless innovation continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the latest developments in space technology. If you found value in staying informed about humanity's next giant leap, hit that like button and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Your comments fuel meaningful discussions about our spacefaring future, so drop your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and turn on notifications to stay updated on the latest breakthroughs in space exploration. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars. History is being made right before our eyes. In the vast expanse of space, two American astronauts gaze out the windows of the International Space Station, their extended stay marking a stark reminder of how quickly dreams of spaceflight can turn into prolonged uncertainty. For Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, what began as an eight-day mission has stretched into a 286-day odyssey, all because their ride home, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, couldn't safely bring them back to Earth. Last September, as the Starliner Calypso capsule descended through the atmosphere without its crew, touching down in the New Mexico desert, it carried with it more than just unfulfilled promises. It brought Boeing's space ambitions crashing back to reality, along with $2 billion in losses, a financial black hole that's now consuming one-sixth of the company's total losses for 2024. But this isn't just Boeing's problem anymore. The ripples are spreading across the entire American space program. SpaceX, already NASA's reliable workhorse, now faces a scrambled launch schedule as they prepare their Dragon spacecraft for an unprecedented rescue mission. Meanwhile, Boeing's troubles keep mounting. Safety incidents, labor strikes, and quality control concerns that reach far beyond their space division. In the coming minutes, we'll unravel the story of how one of America's most trusted aerospace giants found itself in this predicament and what it means for the future of human spaceflight. From the technical failures that stranded two veteran astronauts to the boardroom decisions that led to this moment, we'll examine how Boeing's $4.6 billion NASA contract 
transformed from a symbol of American innovation into a cautionary tale about the true cost of cutting corners in the space industry. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the most comprehensive analysis of these industry-shaping events. Let's dive right in. As Sunita Williams floated through the International Space Station's cupola module last January, her reflection in the window told a story. Her sunken cheeks and weary eyes weren't just signs of extended space flight, they were badges of an unexpected ordeal. Nearly nine months had passed since what should have been an eight-day mission began. In a video call with her family, her sister tearfully noted how different she looked. We just want you home, she said, her voice breaking. 